if p is a negative number and 0 is less than s, which is less than absolute value of p, another way of looking at this is saying that s is between 0 and the absolute value of p, which of the following must also be a negative number? Now before I start plugging in numbers like we usually do, good old standby strategy for the GRE, let me eliminate some answers because there's some real obvious wrong answers here. This one, this one, and this one will never be negative numbers. And the reason is because they are squared. So whatever's in here, be it negative or positive, when it gets squared it will wind up being a positive number. So that makes things pretty easy. Now we only need to try two conditions. Now it's time to try and come up with some numbers that obey the condition given in the problem. I'll write it out here. That 0 is less than s, that is less than the absolute value of p. Now p is a negative number. Let's go with a nice negative number to use. Okay, so let's say p is equal to negative 2. Now let's reevaluate this statement. Okay, now 0 is less than s, which is less than the absolute value of negative 2. I'll remind you that the absolute value function has the effect of taking a negative sign and turning it positive. So what really goes on the right here is 2. Now we get to pick any number between 0 and 2. Now usually we try to stay away from 1's and zeros, but this time I'm just going to go with the easiest option and I'm going to pick 1. I think we should be okay. I did specifically avoid that when I was picking p. I didn't want to use negative 1, but I think we'll be okay this time. So we've got our numbers. We've got p equals negative 2 and s equals 1. Now let's see what we get for these options here. Option D, p squared minus s squared. That would be negative 2 squared minus 1 squared. Negative 2 squared, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. And 4 minus 1 squared, that's 4 minus 1. So we have 3. This is not a negative number, so it cannot be this one. We know now that it is this one, but just for the record, s squared minus p squared will be 1 squared minus negative 2 squared. We can see that we have a small number, 1, minus a number now that is always going to be bigger because of this condition. In our case, 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. We already knew that, but yes, the answer here, the correct answer is E, and that can be easily seen.